I wanted to take you inside to show you what this little girl had to deal with. I've been on this bus for only about 13 minutes. It's not even the hottest part of the day. And as you can see, I'm sweating. We can only imagine how this four-year-old girl felt after hours. Four-year-old Zerenity got onto the bus to go to Head Start like any other day, but was left behind in the sweltering heat of the sun. And she said she didn't come to school today, so I started asking who picked her up, why don't you know where she's at? So of course, like any other mom, I start panicking. Just 15 minutes later, the four-year-old was found inside a school bus. She was drenched in, like if she had barely gotten out the shower, that's how hot she was, how sweaty she was. Her hair was soaked. It was horrible. Her whole body, her whole clothes, it looked like somebody just threw her in the in the shower and put her back out. After an hours long emergency room visit, the smiling little girl is lucky to be alive. You hear every day on the news, you know, people accidentally lock their kids in the car and three hours later they're dead. My child was on there for four hours. Thank God that she was able to survive that. Andrews ISD Superintendent Dr. Bobby Azam said they are investigating how long she was left in the school bus. He said, quote, we are investigating internally. We also contacted police. Everything the school did was done well. Where was the ball dropped? The bus driver didn't check the bus. He could not comment on personnel matters, but said there will be a new bus driver tomorrow. Something like this shouldn't have happened, and they need to go ahead and re-educate them go ahead and make sure to teach them how to check for seats and for children and every child is precious and just put themselves in my shoes. What would y'all have done? With an eye on Andrews, I'm Matt Rist, CBS 7 News.